Hi. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to easily connect your Visual Basic to Microsoft Access. Let's get started. First you need to open your Visual Basic application. After opening, select Standard Executable Form and click Open. In your form, start designing by putting up objects such as text boxes, labels, command buttons and more depending on how you need it in your program. In this case, I will just put two text boxes, two labels and one command button. After designing, start changing the object's properties like name, caption and text. You can also change the appearance of each object according on how you want it to. After completing all of these steps, we can now start creating our database in Microsoft Access. So let us open Microsoft Access, the version I am using now is 2016 version. After opening, let us create a blank database and start defining our table and its fields. In this case I will name the table info, but you can name it whatever you want. Let us use field name user to hold data for all the usernames and pass to hold all passwords. After creating the fields let us double click our table to save it. To finally connect our Visual Basic to the database we have created we need to add a component. To add a component, right click on the toolbox and click components and choose Microsoft to do data connection 6.0 OLED. Then click on the data icon and drag it to your form. Right click on it and click its properties. Click build, select Microsoft Jet 4.0, click next. Select the database. In this case we haven't saved yet our database so we will go again to Microsoft Access and save it. To save it, click on File, Save As, and choose the version 2002 to 2003 and click Save As. Let us save it on the desktop and change its name to DB underscore test and click Save. Going back again to our Visual Basic file. Let us now try to browse our database and click open. Test the connection and click OK. In Record Source tab, do the following. To test the connection we have made, let us type in some codes. I will just type the codes and you follow.
after typing the codes, let us run our program and test it. In this example, I will type in, John for the username, and Smith for the password. To know that the program is correct, when I click save button, the name John must appear on user field and Smith must appear on password. Let us try it by clicking save. Let us check if the database actually saved the information we have entered, by refreshing it. As we can see the database is not updating whatever we enter in the text boxes. So let us fix it by typing another line of code. For the second time around let us check our program if it's now saving. As we can see here, it was now saved. Let us try putting another set of information just to be sure. It worked. And that's how you will connect your Visual Basic file to Microsoft Access Database. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you got some questions just leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer it. See you again on next tutorial, here on Got Tutorials. God bless you.